What's up, everybody? It's your boy H. Back Roddy. Let's hope I don't break anything. How you feeling today? I'm just riding my way to wherever it takes me. Tease in my taste. Can you picture a place where there's peace and grace? I leave the blueprint so my steps you can trace. It's your boy H. Back Roddy back with another video. Today's Wednesday, nice Wednesday morning. It's about to rain. I'm pretty sure. I the last couple of days, they miss I've been saying it's gonna rain, but it hasn't rained yet. Probably till like five o'clock in, in the evening. But today they it says it's supposed to rain way earlier at twelve or one. So we got an early day getting started just to make sure we get our at least some houses out the way before they get canceled. If they do get canceled, if it does rain, it's Georgia. It, it will rain. It was, it was it would be supposed to rain in the morning and then it rained at night so we we don't really don't know um i got a couple of maintenances and a, a no cool call so they only put a couple on my schedule because they expected the rain so now you know i'm kind of expecting it to rain since they are telling me it's going to rain now too so let's get that started uh we got a good couple minute drive it's probably about 35 minute drive to our first stop um and then we head back to the city and do no cool and all that type of stuff Hopefully, like I said, we can get all this knocked out before the rain. But if the rain comes and it messes up the the flow, we might have to cancel something, which I I hope we don't do. But other than that, let's head on up there and get started with our day. All right, fresh outside today. Train XR80. Let's look at this filter. Yeah, that bad boy's like. A couple of more months from being my skin tone. It's a bad thing. Let's throw this bad boy in there. Get you a new one. Here we go, boys. That's on pause. Insulation, either. Definitely need more. Yeah, let's check this capacitor. Gotta make sure everything's up here working right. Checking on for everything. Turns out she has a weak run cap, which I, I was just checking. It's rated for five. I was getting 2.7, which is super weak. And I'm gonna let her know that she probably wants to change that. Or she probably will have a day where her conditioner will cut out on her. But we're gonna let them decide that. That's it for the upstairs. Now we head to the downstairs furnace. Downstairs, same as upstairs. Told her about the my capacitor wasn't going for it and says she only wait a couple of months to decide so we're gonna see about that um but like i said her run capacitor was re reading like 2.7 and it's ready for five so yeah she might want to really get that replaced soon um downstairs checked out fine her the run capacitor downstairs they even left like notes like to look at the ears 
what you can say. Yeah, it's been dropping year by year, but not to a bad point to where Upstairs was. Cause upstairs is just 2.7 completely, which, you know, is pretty bad, but it still works. So that's all they really care about. Um, other than that, everything else checked out fine. The system down here, we're going to head up to the outside two systems and check on the air conditioners and head on out. Alright, so we got the system. Got the capacitor, contactor. Checked the pressures on this one already. That one checked out good. Got the pressures hooked up on the next one. Start capacitor isn't really the best, but it's holding up pretty fine. Capacitor in there. They got like a ring recording, so I think they're recording me, so I ain't gonna really move around so much just in case they don't want me to record their house. But yeah, that's where we at right now. Everything checked out from the system. Like I said, the run capacitor upstairs. And the furnace was not so good. They want to just wait till a couple of months to change it, which is cool by me, as long as they know I told them. And then, yeah, that's where we at right now. We're going to head on up. All right, so back upstairs. It turns out they want to get the cat replaced. So that's what we just did. Like I said, she could have ran a while with a bad one, but kind of kills your motor over the long run and I figured she'd rather pay for the capacitor than have to pay for the motor in the next couple of years so yeah that's what we did came and replaced it wasn't too bad so quick little unplug and plug back in switch so let's head on to the next house all right at the next house seems like it's about to rain it really looks like it's about to rain it was sprinkling on my way over here so I'm gonna start the outside first two outside systems and then move my way to the inside just in case it does rain at least i get the outside done i can just be inside the whole time with the furnaces um, we got a goodman and a carrier over there carrier looks like it was installed last year two years ago i can't remember how old this goodman is let me see all right so goodman from 2017 so both of them aren't as old so you shouldn't find anything going on with these but you never know Let's get this bad boy off and check the pressures i need my channel locks because those things are screwed on there pretty tightly all All right, let me get everything on hooked and get started. I was back over at the other system. I was over there for a while, but then it's, it rains from the trees up top. The trees up top with dripping water all on the system, man. I didn't want to be over there too long and get water inside of here. So I had to move over here pretty quickly. Everything checked out, found the two systems outside. Couldn't really find nothing going on. Check the capacitor, contactor. A little spider back there like a black spider i don't know what type of spider that was but that spider was pretty big i don't know if he's in there if he ran back inside the system pressures are looking good outside also been out here for about 20 25 minutes about to go get that drain lines cleared out and the one down there you can see just dripping out water so we're gonna do that i'm gonna go get my vacuum hook that bad boy up and then we're gonna head inside to the furnaces and thankfully it hasn't poured down raining yet but it's on its way so yeah let's do that all right just got done vacuuming it out there was a lot of water in there I'll show you guys how much water came out of that bad boy ew that's all that's coming from the condensation line just dirt dump that out starting to drizzle a little bit right now so it's kind of the perfect time to head back inside oh yeah that's where we at right now just vacuum these jump lines out. They weren't too dirty, but it was tons of water leaking in them. We're gonna go ahead and slide to the furnaces and check those. Check those 
check them bad boys out. First, I gotta dump this out. Find a place where I can dump this out. Oh my god, it's raining. Okay, let me get out. Let me get out. Space. This is looking good. It's finished up halfway. That filter rack on. That's why my brother's filter rack is pretty. That yeah, filter cover was pretty tough. Uh, just check the capacitor, everything, put everything back up together. I uh, had to go out and get a filter. Uh, that's everything down there. Uh, I'm out of breath. But yeah, let's try to hurry up because it's about to rain. Look at the dehumidifier. It's about to rain, so I need to hurry up and get it out there. Come on, I got no cool for the last one of the day before the rain gets here. So I'm gonna hurry more shut. Probably won't record upstairs furnace because they have a, a meeting going on um the homeowner it's like his office area so he has like a zoom meeting going on so i gotta be kind of quiet so i'm not gonna really be talking so i'm probably not gonna record that if anything happens i'll probably record it then that's where we at right now so I, I guess in this case we'll resume back at the next house with the two no calls for one house should be interesting but yeah that's where we at right now see you guys at the next house all right, at the next house kind of finished up the first part. It was a two system problem, which was a challenge. Came up to the house, told me the thermostat wasn't turning on. Go up to the thermostat, wasn't getting power. I asked her where her box was. She showed me these two box, and of course they weren't labeled. They're never never labeled. So I had to figure out which one was the system, because none of them seemed tripped when I was messing with them so i couldn't really figure out which was which um, so i had to take this whole cover off and basically test switch by switch and finally found it and it was this one right there uh, which wasn't too bad but it was a challenging task to figure out so right now i flipped the switch so now we just have to wait to see what's tripping it and figure that out As we wait for the air conditioner to come back on and give us that answer so while we let that run upstairs which hasn't tripped yet still it's been about 20 minutes and hasn't tripped yet um we're checking downstairs downstairs problem is she's saying she can't switch modes so if she turns it on to heat in the morning she can't switch to the cool it just won't won't turn on or vice versa if it's cooling she can't turn on the heat. She has to come downstairs and physically turn the whole AC off and switch it back on for it to do that. So right now that's what we're doing. Um, check cooling. Getting all my bolts that I'm supposed to get and I'm about to check heating. That's what I'll be waiting on right now. I'll switch over from the delay and see if we still get the same voltage that we're getting from all the other um, terminals on the, on the board right there. that they filter right now and buddy that's that's awful yeah that's awful they got you can change that pronto that could actually be what's probably restricting the airflow it also told me it doesn't really cool that good but it's probably just that filter buddy so yeah what we went on right now for the switch over the heat. All right, back at the system. Turn it on heat and it's heating. I don't know what they was talking about. They was telling me they can't switch from heat to cool or cool to heat without turning the system off. When I just basically just did it just now. So I don't know what they was talking about. I'm gonna have to ask, but they're not here right now. So I have to call them. So yeah, okay, give you guys an update when I get back. Hey, we're back. So I'm back at my house. Um, just a rundown of what the, the whole situation was at that house. It was a crazy, crazy experience. Um, so I get to the house. I know it was two systems that they wanted to get checked out. So I get to the house. It's starting to drizzle a little bit with some rain. I'm thinking, all right, let me hurry up and knock this out before the rain gets here. Um, there was a, a female, the, the homeowner, she was telling me about what happened to her two systems. She describes upstairs was more 
a thermostat problem. She said one day her thermostat went blank and she took the thermostat off the wall and she broke the batteries off of it, kind of like with the battery holes in, and they fell off. She said she tried to smash it back on there with new batteries, but it never worked. And it just been blanked ever since. Um, so I told her, I was like, let me see the thermostat. She showed me the thermostat cover. And you can kind of see where the batteries hold at. That the little tray thing was just completely broken off. So every time you put a battery in there, it just wouldn't basically, you know, stay in there. So it would just fall out. She was assuming the batteries were just dead and she just need, you know, a new screen cover for the thermostat. So I told her, I was like, well, maybe your system doesn't really need batteries. I looked at how her thermostat was wired up they have a c common wire which is used basically to you know for power for the thermostat without having to use batteries and i told her that and she was like oh well maybe that can still work so i popped the thing back on doesn't ever come back on still blank so i started looking around to see why it's not why it's not turning on i go to the system itself the air handler it's not getting 240 volts from the breaker outside um, so I look for her. She's in the house somewhere. It's a big house. Um, I'm looking for her. Finally found her after about three minutes. And I asked her where her breaker was. So we go out to her breaker. I look at the breakers and everything in the panels. And I see there's nothing labeled, of course. And I asked her, would she know which one's labeled? And she says she doesn't know which one's labeled. She never even been back here before. She doesn't even know if these are the only two breakers in the house. I said, most likely it could be the only two breakers. Cause I doubt they'll have a third separate breaker in a whole different room um she told me well i have to go to a doctor's appointment and just call me if you need me and i was like all right i don't know why you gonna just leave when then you know you had an appointment i need uh, sometimes i might have a, a question i need answered she said she had a doctor's appointment she had to hurry up and go had to rush out and she just left me so i'm, I'm at the breaker wondering how I'm going to figure out which one goes to which. I try to see which one was tripped. None of them seem tripped. At least from my eye test, I kind of started messing with them a little bit. And I couldn't still figure out which one was it. So I had to take the panel off, which is what I showed you guys earlier. And kind of test which one was not giving voltage. And I eventually finally found out which one it was. And I finally turned it on and off. And it, it turns out it was tripped. Now what was causing the trip, I have no idea. I had the system running and... For about an hour and a half, I was turning on and off a couple of times. Never tripped after that. Um, I called her. She never picked up, of course, because she had the doctors. Uh, called her husband. Husband says he's been out of town for the last couple of weeks, and she knows that he knows uh, an electrician was out there, and possibly that could have what tripped the breaker, some power outage or surge type deal. So I said, all right, that's cool, and I figured that's probably the problem. And if it happens again while I'm here for the second unit, I'll I'll just you know figure it out then. So I move over to the downstairs unit. Um, they were saying they have a problem with the cooling. Seems like it doesn't cool. Um, the wife told me, she described it as, like I said earlier, it doesn't change from heat to cool and cool to heat when you manually try to change it. It doesn't do that. Which I was like, uh, it sounds like it could be a thermostat or a control problem. She said she replaced the control board two times before. And she just wants another opinion on it. So I get down there. I switch it to cool, it's cooling. Switch it to heat, it's heating. Switch it to cool, it's cooling. Switch it to heat, it heats. Then one more time, switch it to cool, it cools. Switch it to heat, it heat. Turn it back to cool, it cools. And I'm just sitting down there like, what is happening? Of course, nobody is home. She said, I doubt this appointment. I call her, doesn't pick up again. Call the husband, husband doesn't pick up. Probably about 10 minutes after I call the husband, the husband actually walks in. Says how I'm doing. Talk to him about what's going on with the upstairs. He said, okay, that's that's fine. Um, husband tells me what's going on with downstairs. The way he describes it was completely different from what the wife explained it to me as. The wife explained it was having something that was not switching back and forth. The husband's telling me it's something that's going on with the system. It's not even cooling. He's saying it will cool. Then at nighttime, it will just shut off. And the outside unit would never turn on and spin. Which is literally nothing the wife has told me at this point so i'm basically just looking for stuff that probably wasn't even the problem was so i talked to the husband for a while and i told him it's working pretty fine as i'm here right now and he's even, even he's kind of dumbfounded because he like i said he just came back from out of town so he he doesn't even know what his wife been telling him what's been happening looking around he's telling me yeah it's cooling as of now we sat you know talked for about 30 minutes and it was cooling perfectly fine 
Um, and I just told him if it happens again, give us a call. I all that happened at that house, which is just crazy. Um, I, I still to this at this point don't know what my main purpose of coming out there was. I was gonna break her upstairs with trip, but I'm pretty sure they could have just probably went to the breaker box and trip, you know, turn it on and off themselves. But I don't know, you know, you stay. This is what comes with the field. And we had a nice, pretty easy day. Thankfully, it was not that long of a day. Believe it or not, that was only my third house. I only had three houses today. Usually I have about four or five. So imagine doing all that and having that third house and then having like two more to go to after that. And it's like 3.30 right now. So I would have had two more going on. Um, of course, today was supposed to rain. <laughs> but it's Georgia and it's sunny outside. So <laughs> I don't know. It, it literally, like at 12 o'clock, the whole sky was just cloudy. And probably like 1.30, it just disappeared and it's like 80 degrees outside. So we kind of got lucky with the early day because, to be honest with you, if it was a normal day like this, I could, it was supposed to be. I'd probably still be working and working a long shift. So we lucked out on that. Other than that, we had a nice little day earlier. We're on start capacitor. Had to get changed. Everything else checked out fine. Next system at the second house, everything went fine with the maintenance. Third house, I don't know what to even explain that as. That was crazy. But, hey, we finished it all up, and we all good today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with weekly content. It's your boy H. Back Roddy. I'm out. Peace.